reach for the person I'm going after, you're going down. I'm very excited. I'm scared. And right now I'm trying to find John Twyler because I'm going to hire him to be my bodyguard tomorrow for my lunch duty. I'm getting really, really scared because people are getting really, really intense about it and I have no idea who my person is. I was just approached and told that the Dark Brotherhood is coming for me, so I don't know if my chances of surviving are that good. Give them this, and the key thing they need to do this morning is they write down their target's name on the spoon. Not their name, but the target's name. Good afternoon, Harvard School. This is the Spoon Guard speaking. In three minutes, at exactly 3.30, the Spoon Wars shall commence. Oh. May the spoon be ever in your favor. Not 3.30 yet. I'm preparing! I'm fleeing the building yeah, before yeah, 3.30. Yeah, so we see the shot out of the building. There's a minute left. out of the about 450 um, kids and adults who are in the building every day. Um, <clears throat> and so you are assigned a target and you write their name on your spoon and your job is to find them and tag them with your spoon. And when you did that, then you, uh, your new target was their target. Kathy yeah. got forgotten yesterday, so we're, uh, she's hiding. Oh, <laughs> She's, uh, she's taking this game very seriously. Can I yeah. get my mail? Is that Trust possible? No <laughs> I'm sometimes afraid to go get lunch, and I just realize, like, oh, I'm gonna go get, wait, I could get tagged. Uh, um, I think he's probably the one. The spoon carnage is about to happen. This guy's like, oh, where is Alyssa C? And I'm like, oh, because I have the twin stuff. I'm like, oh, Alyssa C is uh, my sister. 
you know, she's walking down the hallway. And so I like totally freak out and I run into the bathroom and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, Isabella comes, she's like, oh, he came after me and stuff. And I was like, I'm not, Alyssa, I'm Isabella. Mm -hmm. And um, me, Isabella goes to the bathroom and we switch clothes and we switch backpacks and stuff. And so we just walk out and um, he thinks Isabella, but, we're, but lunch is over and stuff. So when we leave um, school, he comes out of nowhere and tags Isabella. Uh, Amanda Hi. Sager. Evan Gordon. Hey. Hey. Check out this spoon though. I spoon. killed Milo and he was like, oh, have my extendo spoon. <laughs> this has just been like one, I'm, I'm like super, get behind me, I don't even want to tag me now. Okay, I've gotten you. You know, this is, I can't even speak right now. I'm really out of breath from running. I gotta go. My strategy is to find whoever I have while avoiding basically everyone who I don't know who's going after them. I think it's I think it's a good way to meet members in your community. Watch out, bro! Watch out! Ah! 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 God darn it, Ryan! Stand you should go alone. Take this. Oh my God! Really? Back by the end of the day. Yeah, no. You can take this. Uh, I think it kind of builds the community a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, because no other school really does this, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like our own special little thing. Mm -hmm. You div three people coming after div one people, so you yeah. kind of, you get to meet people. I think this is your target. I don't I think it, it says yeah. Miles Albert, possibly. I think so. I think it's Jordan Albert's little brother. So he looks kind of like him. Is. Is, is that it? Um, I did this. Oh, I know. Beg pardon. People that you rarely even know will help you out with stuff, mm -hmm. and it's really. It's really, I'm actually pretty funny because I'd walk into a Div 1 classroom when I was looking for a Div 1er and I said, like, I thought of it, my, like, no offense to Div 1ers, but I thought, okay, if I just, like, ask them who there is, someone's going to rat them out. Mm -hmm. But no one did. In fact, everyone said the same, like, scapegoat and said that their advisory was all the way down the hall when the person was in this advisory at that mm -hmm. moment. Go for next Oh my god! experience to say it's the Spoon Wars has consumed Max life. Oh my god. Oh. Never see me again, Nick! What have I been doing with the game? I have really actually hidden most of my time and then today I kind of went out and got a seventh grade boy and I got all of this and I didn't like it. So I actually wanted my seventh grade boy to tag me. I wish we could do this more often because I want to get my revenge. 16, Who was your last target? Um, yeah. Anton, someone. Tough name to pronounce. Whoever that is. So a nonth? Alright, cool. Because what, what I can do is just by knowing who you are and where a nonth is, you know, I can actually count how many people. So the fact that you're owed eight spoons will show up when I look on the spreadsheet. Okay. Alright. Awesome, sir. Congratulations. So first of all, if you participated in the Spoon Wars, could you please stand up? Well, I think it turned out splendidly. I think it was really fun. Um, I, I enjoy, like, I, I enjoyed, enjoyed sort of overhearing conversation about it. I liked how many, how many people were involved. I think I don't know what fraction of the school that is, but it's a huge percentage of the school who were who were, um, who played and and I, I liked the sort of supportive relationships that developed of people sort of helping each other. Um, 
and and so I think that that like did some good community fostering and I also just think like the, the I thought it was like really good spirit and cheering and people were really happy. No. So our third runner-up uh, in the 2013 Spoon Wars is Michaela Rosaski. So come on up, Michaela. <laughs> Michaela had collected 50 spoons and Gabe will hold them up. You can see how many they are. Um, the second runner-up, um, Nick Eliesel. <laughs> with 58 spoons. All right, the first runner-up. Another student from Division One. So this year we had 348 participants getting more than one third of those spoons at 137 is this year's spoon master, the winner of the golden spoon, Owen Bigglehop. says we're very connected. We're, we're very connected school. We can get to know each other. We're friendly. We're not shy about each other at all. I think also that we do a lot of stuff that a lot of like elementary and middle schools and high schools don't do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of stuff like some colleges do. Like we have like senior projects and we have like spoon wars and stuff and all mm -hmm. sorts of other things that generally only colleges do, which I think is kind of cool. To connect us all between divisions as a school, all get to know new people. I've met some new people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I have met new people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Parker is a very special school, um, and there are a lot of ways that you can measure how successful a school is. Um, you know, you, you can look at graduation rates, you can look at MCAS scores, you can look at SATs. Um, for charter schools, you can look at your waiting list. There's all these sort of numbers and data, but I think um, a truly special school, you can only feel it when you're actually there and you kind of experience it. Um, and so I think that this past week really emphasized for me how Parker is a special school. You know, we're, we, we do very well with all those numbers and statistics, but it's that non-tangible feel of the school um, that was really captured in this week. <laughs>